So we've seen quite a number of blocks uh, initially, and this time around I'm going to talk about the blocks that are located in the widget section. Now these are blocks that we've been used to seeing on the front end of the WordPress, like for example latest comments, latest posts, latest calendar, archives, um, RSS feeds, tag clouds, and we usually find these under appearance and then we go to widgets and that's how we usually find them. But since our WordPress is going for front end editing or making sure that you can have any content that you want in any page of your website that you do have, these have been turned into blocks and any other widgets that are still remaining are also being converted into widget blocks. So for example, if I wanted to find out the latest post, I can just hit that block and you'll see that we have the hello world article showing up in our latest posts block right here. Now we're able to throw this and make it full width. If we need to, uh, we can change this and make it into a grid view. For example, if it had an image, we can add all that content and see it here. Or we can just leave it under list view. Now, of course, when we click, it's linkable to the new page that we do have here. But I just want to see the other options that we do have. So for example, we can choose to show the post date of uh, that particular post. We can choose to show also the content and we know Lorem Sam is good. That's a content and we can even choose to say maybe we want to show a hundred words of this particular post and maybe if the excerpt was a lot longer than this we could be able to determine how many characters we want to show. Um, we, could do, we could show the full post now for example now we're showing the full post but we'll go for the excerpt and just leave it as so. We can sort from the oldest the newest right now we have only one article there we can choose to say we only want that content that is in a particular category and we can choose and say maybe we want let's say five items of uh, our latest posts. So these are the options that are available for us and we can add also the, the CSS class. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to update this, go to our posts and add just a new dummy post here. So we're going to call this a dummy post for widgets block. So we're going to do add another lorem ipsum piece here and just uh, make this have let's say two blocks of uh, paragraphs in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish and push it um, available and then I'll just add to this block itself I'm going to add a new category. To this post I'm going to add a new category, the category that I'll call widgets so that we can see some differences. I'll hit enter and on hitting enter uh, update. So when we come back to our post here where we added the latest uh, posts block, you're going to see that this block uh, actually needs to update itself. Um, so right now we're showing this, we want to see five items. If I save this, you'll see that because I chose demo content as a category, we only have one item here. But if I choose to say let's bring all the categories, you'll see both articles showing up. You have the hello world and you have the dummy post. We can show from the newest to the oldest so it automatically sorts itself. We can toggle off on and off the dates when these were written. Uh, we can choose to say we don't want the post content so we just have the title and the date and then we can save this. So all widget areas in our WordPress will now have the ability of having these widget blocks showing up in those areas. So if I reload our page here you'll actually see that all our posts are coming up and they're being shown. So this is something that you could use in your articles just to showcase and allow your users to follow up on any other content that you've made but probably wasn't available or you want them to switch from one category to another. The other block that I would like us to look at is actually in the widgets section is 
the category is block. So equally, this works like um, the the posts block, the latest post block, except that this one just shows only the categories that we do have. So we can choose to show them as drop downs. We can show a hierarchy. We can show the post counts that are available in them. So if we save this and then go back and reload our page, you'll see that we have a drop down here. And if we choose and say we want the demo content, when we click on it, you'll see it's going to bring in our URL. It's, takes, it's taking us to the category of demo content. And that's how it simply works. So depending on what you want to use here, uh, it allows us to, to express and show our content on the front end in different ways. So if I reload how this looks like, you'll see that we have our categories and it's showing the number of posts that are available in each of those categories. So we'll take away the hierarchy and if we take away the post count, then it looks as it should be. So we can show the latest comments. We can show our calendar. We can add a search bar. Uh, for example, we can add a search bar in there. We can also add, uh, we can also add an archives category. So this is showing the, the December categories that we've created. And we can also show uh, tag clouds and the calendar itself. So we're able to add this and we'll see that on these different dates, of course, we had different posts. So that's how the whole widget section, or what used to be widgets, is being turned into blocks. So we are able to apply a number of settings to this, but most of them you realize it's only adding CSS, changing whether they will be full width, left aligned, center aligned, and that is what's available. So you try it and see what it does for you in your blog. So you can see how you handle your content and express it on your front end. So one of the blocks that has really um, been stable throughout this whole process is what we call the short code widget. Now with the short code, usually there are plugins that are developed to do particular things. And once we run the short code, it's able to do calculations, and give us on the front end what we are looking for. Others are just uh, contact forms. For example, if you use contact form 7, you'll see that you're able to put your short code here and it would be, you would get a form on the front end uh, that is sending back information. So currently I'm using WooCommerce and WooCommerce has a number of short codes it uses. For example, the WooCommerce uh, checkout uh, short code and this allows for WooCommerce to check out on this particular page that you do have here. So I'm going to use the WooCommerce underscore cart shortcode here that will allow uh, WooCommerce exhibit my cart on this particular page. So if I update this and then come and reload this page, you'll actually see that um, it's saying my cart is empty. So I have to go back to the shop. And now, now that I don't have any products, um, it makes it funny, but ideally I would shop and then I would be able to see the information on my page. So that's how the short code uh, widget works. So it doesn't have any extra settings. You're just placing your short code and it will run your short code uh, functions and calculations or whatever it is and just paste them on your front end. And that's how the short code uh, widget works.